So we'll do a simple translation first, inshallah, and then we'll go and do the breakdown. So the ayat number 149 starts with Azubillah ibn shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa min haythu kharajta. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that wherever you are, or wherever you come out from, fawalli wajhaka, turn your face, shatr al-masjid al-haram, towards the direction of Kaaba, Masjid al-Haram is Kaaba. Wa inna hul al and Allah says this is the truth. Mir Rabbika from your Lord. Wa mallahu bi ghafilin, and Allah is not unaware of what amma ta'amalun, whatever you do, Allah is not unaware of that. Okay. The next ayah, part of the ayah is, is the repetition of the previous ayah. The, the words are exactly the same. Wamin Haisu Kharashta and when you come out, and this is for one person. So this is the commandment for Prophet. So Wamin Haisu Kharashta, so wherever you come out from, Fawalli Vajhaka Shatr al Masjid al Haram. Same words, turn your direction towards the Kaaba, Baitul uh, Masjid al Haram. Now, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering all the Muslims. From this point saying, Wahaisu Ma Kuntum, and wherever you are, all of you, those who believed, wherever you are, or wherever you come out from, Fawallu Wuju Hakum, you turn your faces. Wuju Hakum is the plural of, of face. Shatrahu in that direction, in the direction of Masjid al Haram. So this is a collective order for all the people. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Li Allah yakuna so it may not be Lin Nasi for the people Alaikum Hujjatun an argument against you. Because if you all are doing, then they cannot blame you or some of you are doing or the others are not doing. Okay? Illa Ladina Zalam except those who do wrong. Okay? Minhu Zalamu Minhu among them. Then Allah says, Fala Takshahum. Don't fear them. Wakshauni, fear me. Allah says, fear me. Don't fear people. Wale utimma. Wale utimma means I will complete. Neamati, my neamat, my blessing. Alaikum upon you. Wala allakum tahtadu, so that you may be guided. Okay? So with these two ayahs, the, the topic of change of Qibla, Ends and the other topic starts after that. So, inshallah, let's look at these two ayahs. Okay. So, the ayah starts. There are some common words here. Okay. So, we will be doing some repetition of the words. Wamin hai so. Wamin hai so. These words are repeating few times. Wa means and, min means from, and haifu means where or wherever. Okay? Wherever. <coughs> and from wherever. <coughs> the next word is harajta. This word is from Kharaja. Kharaja means to go out. Kharaja means to go out. Ikhraj. Okay. And the word Kharajta means it's for one person. You go out. Or you went out. Okay. Kharajta is the command for one person which saying 
you went out or you go out. So, you go out. Which means, wherever you are, you see you go outside somewhere, wherever you are, okay? So, these are the common words and from wherever or from where Harajta say one person you go out and first person to be commanded in here is Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is commanding Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that wherever you go out okay what you do whenever or wherever you go out from Fawalli okay so the word is Fawalli okay so the word it starts fa and walli okay fa means so okay and the word walli is from these letters waw lam ya okay these are the root letters and these are three letters so they are ba ba fa la and if I put shut down the middle letter, it becomes fa'ala. So this becomes walla. This is the word. It means to turn your direction. Walla means to turn. Okay. Walli is a command, order from this word. Walli means turn. Okay, for one person. If you are telling one person, turn yourself, you will say Walli. Okay? So turn. So so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the first part to Prophet Sallallahu that wherever you are or wherever you go out, when it is time for the prayer, Turn yourself. Okay. Turn. So turn. Okay. Turn what? The next word tells what are you supposed to turn. Okay. And the word is Wajhun. Wajhun means face. Wajhul means face. And ka means your. Okay? So if you combine these two, it will become by the rule of combination, one dhumma goes away and it becomes Wajhuka. Wajhuka means your face. Vajhoka means your face, okay? Now also we have seen many times that when this is like a noun comes after a verb, then Dhamma changes into a fatha, it's a object. So Vajhoka will become Vajhaka, meaning will not change, okay? So Vajhaka means your face. So turn your face, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that wherever you go out from, if it is time for the prayer, turn your face, okay, turn means your face, okay, turn your face how? Shatral masjidil haram, okay, the word shatrun or shatra means direction. Shatra means direction or toward. Shatra means toward or in a direction. Direction of what? Al Masjidil Haram. 
Masjid al-Haram, we discussed last time, is Kaaba. Kaaba's another name is Masjid al-Haram in Makkah. So turn your face in the direction of Kaaba. So it doesn't matter where you are, wherever you are, wherever you go out from, wherever, whichever part of the world you are in, turn your face towards Kaaba. And it is understood that this is in the prayer. When you start the prayer, then you turn your face. Okay? So this is towards Masjid al-Haram. Masjid al-Haram is Kaaba. So this is the command, instruction, final instruction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First it is being given to the Prophet sallam, that whichever part outside Kaaba or Makkah you go, when the time for the prayer comes, you turn your direction or face towards Kaaba. A very clear direction is being given here. Okay. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Okay? So these are the separate words wa inna and hu. Okay? So wa means and inna means indeed or surely and who means this. This means this command, this order which is giving, giving, being given to you, or this change of the Kaaba which is being done now, in change of the direction. <coughs> this is indeed, what is it? The word is Li plus Al Hakku. is made of these words ha kaf and ka okay and hakun means truth hakun means truth okay hak or hakun means truth when you put al before that Al here, this becomes the truth. Okay. Al Hakku, one Dhamma goes away, so it becomes Al Hakku, the truth. Okay. And before this is this Lam, which is called Lam Taqir, or to emphasize something. So which means surely. So this lamps means surely. Or indeed again surely. So when you read these together, you do not read this alif in between. You read lal hakko, the truth. Definitely the truth. The meaning of the word will be surely the truth okay so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that indeed this is a sure truth okay this is indeed a very sure truth okay and indeed This show truth. Show the truth. Surely the truth. Okay. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after issuing the command saying, this is, there is no doubt in that, this is the reality, this is the truth, this is the fact. Okay? And, and further Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Mir Rabbika. Okay? This is the truth, Min Rabbika. Okay? So what is the meaning from Min Rabbika? Min means from plus Rabbun is the word plus Ka. Okay. These are the three words. Min means from Rabbun means Lord <coughs> and Ka means your. For you. Okay. Min, Rabbun, and Ka. These are three separate words. First, you combine these two words, Rabbun and Ka. So, when you combine these, one Dhamma goes away, so it becomes Rabboka. 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 Rabboka means your Lord. Okay. When you put the min before this, min is a harfijar. It, it has an effect of in this dhumma, one dhumma, it changes this into a kasra. Harfajar changes Dhumma into a Kasra on the next word. So it becomes Min Rabbika instead of Rabbuka. Min Rabbika means from your Lord. This is the truth from your Lord. Okay? When we recite this, the sound of Ra takes over the sound of Noon. And it is recited Mir Rabbika. So for that you put a Shadda here on the Ra and you recite Mir Rabbika. That's just Tajweed for the recitation. Okay, the, the sound of Noon is taken away by with the Ra with the Ra. Mir Rabbika from your Lord. from your Lord. So this is the truth from your Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this is the truth from your Lord. Okay. This whatever is being done now, the change of the direction of, of the Qibla is being commanded for Prophet and the believers. This is the truth. There should not be any doubt and the truth is from your Lord, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Then Allah further says, Wamallahu bighafilin. Okay. So again, going back to wa ma Allahu. Wama. Wam is end, and mom is not. Okay? And Allah. So when you read together, it is Wamallahu, and Allah is not. Allah is not. Okay? And the next word is rain, fa, and la. This means to be unaware. Ghafala, ghaflat, or ghafil, is a person who is who doesn't know, who is not aware. Ghafala means to be unaware. Ghafala means to be unaware, not to know something. Okay. 
unaware. And from this word, the noun is ghafilun. Ghafilun means unaware. Someone who is unaware is called ghafil. Or ghafilun. Okay. He is in ghaflat or he is not in this state of knowledge. Ghafilun. Okay. That's the doer, the, the, the person who is, or someone who does not know is called ghafil. Okay. And <clears throat> if I put a B in the beginning, okay, and you can translate B by of. B Kafi and B is a harfajar again harfajar which change these two dumas to to kasras that's the word in the Quran unaware of Allah is not unaware of Wamallahu bi ghafilin means Allah is not unaware of. Which means Allah is aware of everything. He knows everything. Okay. Wamallahu bi ghafilin and Allah is not unaware of. And Allah is not unaware of Wamallahu and this this these words come many many times in the Quran Wamallahu bi ghafilin and Allah is not unaware which means Allah knows Allah is aware of So what is not, there are two more words here, Amma Tahmalun. Allah is not unaware of Amma Tahmalun. Okay. Okay. So word Amma has couple meanings. One is whatever or that which Amma okay then we have this words Ayn Neem and Lam Amala or Ayn mean Lam. This means to do. Amal means a deed. Amala means to do. Okay. So if I put in this word, I put a Ta in the beginning and Guna at the end. Keep the middle letters at that. Okay. And put the, the these words come a lot. Ta'amaluna means you do. Present tense and plural second person. You are doing or you do. Ta'amaluna like you do or you are doing. Or, or you will be doing. Or you will be doing. Yeah. Okay. So ta'amaluna, amma ta'amaluna, whatever you do, Allah is not unaware of whatever you do. 